George Bernard Shaw once said, Progress is impossible without change, and those who cannot change their mind cannot change anything. Hello once again, this is James Routon, and welcome to my Safety Culture series. In my last video, I discussed a brief overview of the components of activity-based safety systems, which include some basic elements of a typical activity-based safety system, such as safety meetings. Safety meetings come in three categories, shift review meetings, weekly meetings, and monthly meetings. And in today's session, I want to briefly discuss one of the components of the activity-based safety system, which is a critical element of a successful activity-based safety system, one-on-one -on -one communication with employees, as this is one of the basic applications which is designed to provide the appropriate level of communication and awareness among everyone in the organization in a short period of time. The problem is that not everyone will speak up in these safety meetings. And the solution is using the one-on-one -on -one communication component of activity-based safety system to verify what was discussed in the safety meetings and to listen to your employees' concerns and not just react to situations. This is where the one-on-one -on -one communication with employees is very effective. The success of these one-on-one -on -one meetings is that they must be in an environment where the employee feels comfortable. And the key is on these one-on-one -on -one meetings, the supervisor must be sincere and interested in what the employee has to say. Sometimes it may be hard for the supervision to do this, but it may even be harder for the employee to speak their mind if there is no trust between them and the supervisor. The end result of an effective one-on-one -on -one discussion is that the employee and the supervisor will start to build better relationships. The problem that you may face is, what happens if you cannot get the employees to speak up in these one-on-one -on -one meetings? And the solution is to just continue to conduct these one-on-one -on -one meetings with the employee without making the employee uncomfortable. It may take just a little longer for some employees to open up, and over time, the employee will confide in you, and the end result is that there will be a better line of communication with the employee. One thing that you should keep in mind is that a smart way to end every one-on-one -on -one meeting is to casually but earnestly ask, is there anything else on your mind? At this point, stop and listen to what the employee has to say with no interruptions, because over time, you will learn more about the employee which in turn starts to build a better relationship and builds trust. And before I conclude, we discuss briefly an overview of one-on-one -on -one communication and how it fits into the overall structure of the safety culture. In the next video, I will provide some basic tips that I have learned by developing and implementing many activity-based safety systems. Thank you for listening to this video. I wish you success in your journey. For more details, visit my website, safetycultureplus.com, and follow me on YouTube to ensure that you have access to all my videos.